Hi everyone and welcome to your daily love tarot messages here. Um, these messages that we're going to take a look at here, they are going to be general here, but um, I'm guessing you already know that. For those of you that are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what messages they are predicting for you guys today. Okay, so I'll also be using the Angel Whispers here and see what messages they are guiding you towards. Swords here. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Two of Cups, and lastly. Sun. Okay, and the page of swords also in reverse here. Okay. Um, okay. Three of Swords, and you've got trust here with the angel answers. Okay, um, some of you, I feel like you need to trust this pain that you're feeling because it is going to be useful to you someday. That's the message that I'm getting for you here. The Three of Swords here is... The Three of Swords here is pain here. It's pain that is uh, being inflicted by either uh, someone's intentions here, something someone said or something someone did here. So by their intentions, words or their actions here. Um, and it's literally heartbreak, you know, emotional anguish, grieving. Some of you, I feel like, you know, you're going through a heartbreak or you're going through... Um, you know, heartache, um, separation, a breakup here. You need to trust this pain, okay? Um, you need to trust this pain. That's the message I'm getting here because it is going to be useful for you someday here. Don't get discouraged here. This is likely to be a time in your life where there's a lot of TC, there's a lot of sadness or heartbreak here. Um, for some of you, it does point to a breakup or a breakup in a relationship is what I'm getting here. Um, the past wounds have not healed here. That's that's what I'm also picking up. Some of you, your past or your these wounds have not healed here. And it's important for you to give yourself some time before you love again. Okay, so trust the process. Trust the process is what I'm uh, getting. Trust the process. Okay, the Ten of Swords and perfect timing. Okay. Something is ending for you here, which makes sense because we did just speak about a breakup. Um, you know, some of you could be um, going through a separation, a breakup, a divorce. Some of you here, um, uh, I feel like there's something here that's ending for you. But this ending here is causing you a lot of pain, a lot of anguish here. And I know it sounds really funny and it probably will... It'll sound funny me saying it as well, but this couldn't have come at a better time for you. This couldn't have come at a better time for you guys. Some of you, you've hit emotional rock bottom, right? Um, and the funny thing about that is, once you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. Notice how the sun here rises on the horizon, on the horizon here. I feel like there's 
you need again I need you to trust because there is a lightness there is light to this darkness that you're feeling okay and this too shall pass it will after every dark night there's a brighter day okay and the two of cups Ask from, for help from others, okay? Now, I feel like this ties in with um, some of this emotional anguish or some of this really, you know, this sad, um, this very somber energy that it comes through uh, the tarot spread. There is someone around you here, a connecting energy here, especially with the Two of Cups, who is, in fact, going to offer you a lot of emotional support. And I'm also um, getting that this person is actually going to help you through this is going to help you with the healing process is going to help you move on or it's just going to help you process all of these emotions and you know everything else that's going on for you right now um, close connecting energy here could be a sibling could be a friend um, someone close to you strong water energy as well as being indicated with the two of cups so pisces cancer scorpio and who better than a water energy this is someone who i feel like they will feel your pain they will feel your hurt, they will feel your heartbreak, and they will share that with you. So do not be afraid to ask for help from others. Don't hesitate, because this person, this is someone whom I feel like already knows that you're hurting. It's almost like they're just waiting for you to reach out and ask them. Better yet, I feel like this person doesn't even need you, you to communicate. Just show up. That's how great of an energy they are, how great of an emotional support this person is here. And now communicate clearly. You've got the sun in reverse here and it's asking for you to communicate clearly. Okay, some of you are, okay, some of you are currently, maybe you're in like in, in a separation with this um, and connecting energy. Um, But I feel like some of you are blocking here. You're either blocking your healing or um, you're blocking um, a happiness. Um, you're blocking something here. Okay, something here is being temporarily blocked um, from coming into your life because you are not communicating clearly. Okay, and I don't feel like it's with a with a certain individual. I feel like you're not communicating with the universe here, or you're not communicating with your angels here. Um, you know, with the spirit guides, with God, whomever it is that you pray or believe in. I don't feel like there's that. There's a lack of openness here. Okay, especially in uh, with the sun in reverse. You're blocking your energies, and you're blocking any healing powers that are being. Um, that are you know uh, flooding in your way purely because I don't feel like you're communicating with your energy here some of you I feel like maybe you don't believe that you know you will heal from this pain or you don't believe that there will be um, an end to all of this hurt and all this emotional anguish there is an ending in sight but you need to align yourself okay with the healing powers align yourself here with your higher self so you need to communicate clearly it could be that you need to communicate clearly here um, especially regarding you know this connecting energy whom you need to ask help from so it might be that you need to tell this person you know um, what it is that's truly going on with you here um, and they and all you might just need is a you know a shoulder to cry on or an ear to listen to um, but whatever it is that you know you're speaking or communicating here make sure it comes from the heart here now with the page of swords here in reverse opportunity here now this is interesting opportunity okay well, what i'm getting for you here is okay communicating clearly i feel like is going to bring about an opportunity here because some of you i feel like maybe with the page of swords in reverse you're trying to better understand you know your emotions or you know what it is that you're going through or why this person um, did what they did maybe you're trying to better understand their angle and their take on it um, and I'm seeing that there's an opportunity here if you communicate clearly here I feel like there's an opportunity here to either get through to someone or to better understand um, better understand and process the emotions in the situation at hand here Okay, because that's going to bring an opportunity. And the opportunity to heal your past hurts, the opportunity to better understand yourself, um, potential romantic interests here, to better understand heartbreak, um, to better understand, you know, this particular situation here. 
I don't feel like it's a materialistic opportunity, guys. I feel like it's more um, like an understanding of some sort, an understanding, a realization, an ability to connect the dots, to look, reflect back on, um, reflect back on this hurt or this pain, and oddly enough, make peace with it, make peace with a conflict here. Okay, um, and that is pretty much the messages that I have for you today here. Okay, so I really do hope that these messages here have been helpful, at least, you know, in some way, shape or form. Um, do stay tuned for your daily love messages um, that I will share with you tomorrow and going forwards. And feel free to check out my weekly love um, messages as well throughout the week i just want to thank you guys again for all of your support for your time and attention it is greatly appreciated and i'll be catching up with you guys tomorrow bye for now